Okay, so here it is, a Jaguar approved home charger. Oh, perfect. All ready to go. It looks great. How did you find the process of getting it fitted? It was actually straightforward in the end because before I took delivery of the iPACE, yeah. the EV specialist at my Jaguar retailer discussed all the options with me. Okay. I had a local electrician who was doing some work in the house and I thought about using him, but in the end, I had the installation performed by an installer I found through jaguarusa.com. That's good news. As you know, I would have answered a few questions, yeah. took a couple of pictures of where I wanted the charger, which is right here. And then I found I needed to have a 240 volt That's outlet right. installed. Mm -hmm. So from the list of certified installers, got three quotes for fitting the outlet. And uh, here it is, perfect place for it. It looks excellent. I mean, they've done a really nice clean job too. Yeah. Okay, I've got a couple of questions for you now. You might think they're basic, but the first thing Shoot. is safety. I've always wondered this. So obviously <laughs> water and electricity- I know where you're going with this. You do? <laughs> yes. Water and electricity are not friends. No. So how does that work with charging the eye pace? Is it okay to charge it in the rain or in wet conditions? Yes, the charge plug forms a seal which prevents water getting in. Right. Also, the home charger unit contains a safety trip system in the event of a short circuit. So you're not at risk of a shock at all. So I'm safe out there and safe in here. Exactly. All right, next basic question. Okay. Should I always try and charge the eye pace to its maximum to 100%? That is actually a very good question. And the answer is, if you're planning a long trip, yes. It's a great idea to top off the battery to maximize your potential range, but it's not essential to fully charge the battery each time for daily use. All right. Why? Because lithium iron batteries will rapidly accept the charge up to 80%, but the last 20% may take as long to charge as the first 80%. So when you're out and about charging on the public network, it's actually great to understand this. So you're not wasting time. Yeah, yeah, so you can charge quickly, and I suppose 80% then is okay. Right. All right, let's plug the iPace in. Okay, let's grab the plug and let's walk it over to the iPace. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna open the door. Now, as you can see here, if you wanted to use a DC rapid charger, you would uncover the flap and use the whole outlet for it. But we're not gonna do that right now. We are just going to use the home charger. So go ahead and give it a try. So is this plug just for Jaguar or is it universal? It's universal, so you can actually use it nationwide. All right, the white light is flashing. What does that mean? Ah, the white light is indicating that the vehicle is ready to take charge. Then a blinking green light is gonna appear. Now this means it's charging. Now when the green light is solid, it means it's completed its charge. Gotcha. Now, just in case you forget, you can always look inside the door at this very handy key right here. Oh, I see. And I suppose I can still keep an eye on the charge through the app. Yes, and right. a lot more besides that. But let's just get into the iPace and I'll show you how. Great.